In this video we're going to look at how you find the equation of a line which has a negative gradient. So as in the first video on this topic, what you need to know is you need to know that the equation of any straight line can be written using this formula y equals mx plus c where m is the gradient or the steepness and c is the y-intercept. So what are we going to do? Well, we need to find these two values. We need to find the value of c, which is the y-intercept. And once again, this is where the y-axis crosses the straight line that you're looking at. So here's our straight line. Here's the y-axis. Where do they cross over? What's that point there? That is 6. So that value of c at the end of there is going to be a 6. What we need to do now is we need to work out the gradient of this line. And I'm going to do the same as I've done before in the previous video. I'm going to choose two points on my line which cross over the axes, cross over the coordinate grid line, sorry, at nice convenient points. So I'm choosing these two points here. They're very easy to read off from the line. I wouldn't choose a point in here or here because they're more tricky. You can't see exactly what numbers on the grid lines they're going to be landing on. But these two points here that I've chosen are at whole numbers. It's really simple to read off the scale where they are. So let's have a look at how we calculate the gradient of this. The gradient, remember, is how far up a line goes for every one unit across. If I want to go from this point here to this point here, I'm going to have to go one unit across but I'm going to have to go two units down, like that. One across, two down. And I've used a minus there to denote the fact that I'm going downhill. People often have a little bit of trouble remembering which direction is uphill and which direction is downhill. I always say to them, well, look, if you read from left to right, Okay, if you play a computer game normally, you know, something like Mario or Sonic, you're running from left to right. So think about that when you look at this line. If you're going from left to right, this is going downhill. So it's going along one and down two. So I've got two pieces of information now, and I've got to work out my gradient. My gradient is going to be how far up, well in this case it was a minus two, divided by how far across which was a 1. So my gradient is equal to minus 2 divided by 1, which is minus 2. My intercept, if you remember, my y-intercept was 6. So I've got the two pieces of information that I need. Let's remember, there's the green post-it note again, I needed the value of m, the gradient, and I needed the value of c, the y-intercept. So let's go ahead and try now to write the equation of this line. I think it goes like this. y equals m, which is minus 2, multiplied by x, and then add c, which is 6. And that is the equation of this line. You might choose to switch those two around and write it like this. y equals 6 minus 2x either of those would be acceptable. Let's have a look at a second example now, just very quickly. Okay, This one, once again, we're going to go through the same steps. We're going to try to work out the value of c, which is the y-intercept, and the value of m, which is the gradient. So the value of c is where your line crosses the y-axis, which is here. So we can say that the value of c is equal to 2. Let's have a look for our gradient now. Now, I'm going to choose two points, once again, which fit nicely into the coordinate grid. So I can read that one very easily. It's minus 4, 3. And I'm going to choose this point here as well, which is 4, 1. Let's have a look at the triangle now. So the triangle, I'm going along and then downwards 
like that. Notice how this is going to be a negative gradient. Remember, um, if you're reading from left to right, left, you're reading this way, you're going downhill from left to right. So that is minus two units. How far along have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units along. So once again, the gradient is equal to how far up or down divided by how far along. Now minus 2 divided by 8 will give you minus a quarter or minus 0 0.25. I'm going to leave it as minus 1 quarter. So let's see that formula again. Here it is y equals mx plus c. I need to write for my equation of this line y equals the gradient x plus c and c was equal to 2. So that is the equation of my line. And once again you could write the 2 at the front take away 1 quarter x. Either of those would be an acceptable form for the equation of that line. OK, key thing to remember from this video really is that if a line is going downwards like that in that direction, so you're reading from left to right as you normally do when you're reading, you read from left to right, it's going downhill, so it's a negative gradient. Check out the next video to see how you deal with e equations of lines where the coordinate grids are not quite so simple and straightforward.